Our next question comes from Cheryl. She says, love, love, just love the podcast. Thank you for bringing it to life. My question rose after listening to the episodes with Gabby Bernstein and Denise Lynn. They both mentioned how they had gone through trauma. Gabby indicated that she was on the other side of it now, yet Denise Lynn shared that she will always carry the trauma of what happened to her. If you haven't heard these episodes yet, I recommend pausing here and going to listen to them so you can get the fullness of this question. But anyway, in episode five, Gabby talks a lot about healing from trauma. And in episode seven, Denise shares her story of spiritual awakening, which was tied directly to a traumatic event in her life. And Cheryl's question is, how do we know when we are truly over or on the other side of healing a trauma? And when we heal it, do we move on from it in all ways? Or are we meant to accept the trauma and carry it with us in some way? Again, I can only speak for myself, right? I can really only speak for myself because I've been doing trauma therapy. And I am not a therapist. So it's just been my opinion. And also from what I've learned from people in my membership and my Oracle Circle membership in my school, etc. And conversations I've had with therapists. Um, again, I am not a therapist. So for example, I have done quite a bit of EMDR around a trauma that has happened to me uh, during some experience I had in my early 20s that I never actually moved beyond that tends to come up for me as a trigger. And a trigger means that I feel the same feelings, the same fears, the same fight, flight, freeze, fawn, attach, you know, the same behaviors come up for me and reactions to things that remind me of this. But I don't really know that they're reminding me of that because I'm unconscious of it. And but I feel these feelings and I feel traumatized, even though they're not appropriate to whatever is there in front of me. So I still have the memory and the experience that is still with me, but I don't get triggered the same way at all anymore. That is really important. So it's still a part of me. I mean, it made me me. I don't, I don't, I didn't get over it. Like, how do you, like you say, oh, I got over that. No, I, I can see how it impacted me in a way and how I developed my personality and how sometimes I, I will notice a knee-jerk reaction toward the trigger, like if something comes, but I also know, oh, that's not happening right now. Oh, that's, or I'll, I'm very capable of seeing it and going, oh, I get it. Oh, that's interesting. That's making me feel like that happened, that thing that happened back then. But now, instead of falling down the hole every time and re-experiencing the same feeling state as the original trauma, I now know how to walk around the hole. But that doesn't mean the hole isn't there anymore, you know? So on maybe in a few years when Inside the Wooniverse is in our fifth number one season, I'll be able to come back and tell you that I'm completely, there is no hole anymore and there's no trauma, but I'm not there yet. So <laughs> that's pretty much my answer. But it's a really good question because you're right, being on the other side of it, I don't, Denise wasn't suggesting that she wasn't on the other side of it. She was really saying it was still a very much a part of her. Um, and the same with, you know, and, and same with Gabby, we can be on the other side of something, but it doesn't get erased. It just doesn't get erased. And again, I'm only speaking for myself and from what I have learned. Um, I've taken some courses, by the way, around trauma. Again, I highly recommend Gabor Mate and Thomas Hubel. Um, if you're interested in pursuing an understanding of trauma release and trauma therapy in a deeper way. Okay, if you like this podcast and you want to see more, just click over here and you'll get to see more clips from this interview. If you just want to listen, well, if you click there, you'll listen to the entire interview available to you on any one of your favorite podcast channels.